Yeah. Dim in the lantern. Sure thing.
my turn. How can I help? I hear you. Care to have a look? Right away. Happy to I hear you. I hear you. 
And now Port Marge is behind us. I thought this would be a relief. Thank you again for maintaining my story in front of Vanessa and the others. I didn't enjoy deceiving them, but it seemed simpler than the alternative. Believe me, I take no pleasure in duplicity. After we parted, I set out to destroy the Leaden Key. It's controlled us for too long. I wanted to free Kith from it. So for five years, I've been tracking down Leaden Key circles, searching for the places where they operate in secret, trying to undo them. The task has been more difficult than I anticipated. I don't think I fully understood the weight of the decisions I would have to make. Or the burden of living with them. It was much easier when I only had to follow someone else's lead. My father's, Theos's. Your what matters is that you got us out again. After we defeated Theos, I thought the hard part of undoing his work would be tracking down the Leaden Key's members and operations. Perhaps this would be easier with an example. I went to a village in Old Valia, a run-down backwater river place. I right home like it was. Uh, centuries ago, the Leaden Key had intervened to end some heretical cult. The details were lost, but what had endured was a practice of ritual bloodletting. A group- You got an eye for charming little towns, I'll say that much. At every full moon, the villagers would feed the soil with their blood. No one, young or old, sick or hale, was exempt. That's where it gets complicated. The village priest administered the practice. Grim old fellow. Reminded me of Theos. Wicked El Bonbag. Tis what the lad means. He was a tyrant. I was certain that if the villagers were free of his influence, they'd be free from the bloodletting too. So I arranged for him to have an accident. The old man died, and the villagers were terrified. They were convinced his death was an ill omen. They blamed it and every other mishap that befell them on their lack of faith. So they began bloodletting every week turning on their neighbors for giving too little. Instead of a handful dying each year, a few perished every week. I had to do something, didn't I? I keep wondering what I might have done differently, or how I could have known better. I suppose so. Thank you. It's a relief to share this burden. You ah, that. I'm looking for an old Leaden Key sect. I've found several references, but I want to be sure. Uh, please, let me go over my notes again. Then I promise I'll tell you everything. I'll be right back. Mm-hmm, already there. How can I help? Well met, stranger. If lots to see. Folks said I'd never mm -hmm. This would be so much easier if I... Where is my postinago of a brother? You there, have you seen Laro Badato? Have you heard about the commotion at the palace? Of course. Something about...
Why, hello. I can tell the... There, look what the watcher's given me. It? It's... You're right. He does do that with his hands. Fine. <laughs> Just... Amir's auspicious apples. Let's you see three seconds into the future. Hmm. too tall. Happy to I hear you. My turn. You can't have Max for a bra I'm a natural. Already there. Get to done and done. for a pun, good madam. How can I help? Clever. Mm -hmm. 
already there. I got nowhere else to turn. Stonehill is going to kill me. Don't drag me into your mess, Bertenno. Not again. Then you leave me no choice. I'm sorry. Hey, come back with that. Madiko! Mm -hmm. All right. What can I do you for? All right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. Shop Imp, greetings. But I'm keeping with All right, but I'm keeping with Oh. Right. Maybe just this one. Does it ever trouble you, being so far removed from the rest of your order? Are you gonna call me heretical too? Of course not. I'm terribly sorry. I didn't mean to pry. I didn't mean to jump on you. I'm just used to being called names. It's all... Well, as long as I don't get... If you find yourself in need of comfort. This looks great on. Well, as long as I don't get. Did the Queen summon everyone to the palace? Akira, I've never seen Arui he run so fast. Do you think the odds of
I'm sure I have the perfect gem. Candles and bombs. Shining we thank you. Payment for heads. It could be no simpler, Surprise. I say. Tell me, are you someone who walks the path that coin lays out before you? Transmuting actions into payment is the alchemy that orders our world. All things turn on the axis of a coin bond. I pay bounties so that death can bring order to life. Would you- If you would forge a coin bond, I know of people on these islands who must die. Their fate is already decided. The coin wishes only to collect. Dugra the ascetic is wanted for crimes against his monastic order. His people have made a coin bond for his death. The Orlin wanders the wilderness on the island of Crookspur, northwest of Nekataka. Speak freely, I say. Hunter, D A door watcher. Fancy a look at this stock? Have a look. Consider, friend, certainly. I've noticed- Halt! What is your business at the Brass Citadel? You're the Watcher. The one who nearly caused a riot in Queensbirth. The Grand Secretary Atsura wants to meet you. His office is on the lower level of Imperial Command. Once you're inside, go downstairs through the room on the right. Hazanui Karu is the ultimate authority in the Brass Citadel. But she must endure the sops at the palace. When she returns, I'm sure she will grant you an audience. For now, Atsura Nui speaks with her voice. With sails unfurled and Some of my brethren don't understand high. why I gotta do what Battle I do. For glory but I'm not beholden to them. 
I can certainly sympathize. I come to gawk too. My pun I punched my captain. Though maybe he shouldn't have insulted my aim. He asked if I knew where I was pointing my cannons. I told him to bend over in front of one and we'd find out. It escalated from there. I'm not reporting back to Wakoyo, that's for sure. I crewed on mercenary ships before this. Come to think of it, that suited me better. Still a scramble root at heart, I guess. Don't take this the wrong way, but I only crew with captains I know, either personally or by reputation. I'm sure you're capable. But I let's talk again when you've made a name for yourself. Report to Wakoyo Nui when your hands and your tongue. Clear skies, my friend. I know of you already, Captain. The boats of our decorated armada have orders which spread them thinly across the archipelago. Rawatai finds itself in need of a privateer. Your ship, unmoored from Deadfire politics, is an asset I would grasp with both hands. An arrangement can help us both. You will empty the seas of competition in exchange for profit. This courage will win you many battles, I think. A Scylla wave skipper is your first target. A pirate shirking any pretense of lawful conduct in the open seas. Pirates are adept at scattering when threatened. But this makes planting your boot on the neck of a straggler all the sweeter. I would keep my privateer busy. You will speak to me when you are ready for work, yes? Your target is Radolf, a valiant captain and seeker of lost ruins. There is no wicked length he would not go to plunder the dignity of these isles. Then let us content ourselves that some small corner of the archipelago is safe from Valian excess. Our work is unfinished, Privateer. Are you ready, Captain? Your final target is Barunga, a Hawana captain of many seasons. She is known for bending nature to her will and pursuing her foes with relentless fury. It is satisfying to see one of our island cousins humbled for a change. May the others take this as an example. Privateer, you served Rawatai with distinction. No more could possibly be asked of you. Seraphin, thought we agreed you'd stay out of my head. Oh, my hands are feeling better. It's my pride that's still so. Don't take this the wrong way, but I only crew with captains I know, either personally or by reputation. I'm sure you're capable, but I don't know enough about you yet. Let's talk again when you. What do you think you're gonna find? Nothing particular, just... All right, but I'm keeping with... <laughs> well, that's not nice. Looking for a pist... All right. Well done. 
I'll see what I can hey. find. Sure. Yeah. Keep it down. I already have one guest in my head. I don't need another. Sorry, lad. Thought that chip on your shoulder were for all to see. Do you ever have a thought and just decide to keep it to yourself? More than you know, my dear inmate. More than you know. You've got...
All the wonders of the sea and... What... Uh, uh, what can I do for you? Put your eyes on... Did you that catch can't the new cake by the peg leg performers yet? Damn me for a butt slice of hard sack. It's... It's you, ain't it? Hang me by the thumbs. At your... I'll keep it quick, see? If your little dinghy has got some chase in it, I've got a list of captains with a black mark to their name whose ships need a quick scuttling. You read me like a book, you do. Then let's talk... You'll be looking to scuttle Cornu first. One hope the Navy doesn't trouble you none over it. They tend to hold a grudge. Hey, you're better at this than I thought. You open some more work and more coin for your troubles? Your next target is Kuaru, a Huana captain with a black mark on his name. He's well scuttled then. Blimey, you're keen at this. There's more work in your future. Just give me the usual... You'll be scuttling a Valian captain next. Rock Stomper Rodul is a mountain dwarf with a penchant for sinking freedom lovers. So you'll be doing me a personal favour scuttling his craft. Knowing the dead fire waters are short, a pirate hunter is worth ten times its weight in pyres. Hate to say it, scuttler, but I'm tapped out. My client's gone awfully quiet, so we're both better off sailing for the next horizon. The Green Menace... That I did. Made me want to poke up. A cozy traveler. Care to hear a tale? Well, I was born to a family of merchants on the Pearl Coast. 
I was a restless boy, and my feet took me to the Valen Republics when I came of age. I learned of the power of geography and language at my father's knee, and those skills proved useful in the... I joined up with a company based in Girara, the trade... Indeed. But I would like to make amends to... Ark, you listened to my tale. Well done. <laughs> Fair anything I lady adventure I and being a cypher's old if I oh I lost it's just on my but I do with pleasure teaching is my spe excellent Worry me, Alof. I'd be letting the lass out to play more. It isn't you, and I didn't ask. Could make a right nice excuse to be exploring your... <laughs> well, everything, I. You do realize you're not the first ill-mannered Orlin to suggest that. She's gotta be... My turn. Welcome to my Emporium. What, uh, what would you like to buy? Might. You've got it. The Watcher is a regular ship hunter. My old ship captain hunter. was a drink. My good, whatever. I'm stage. Oh, the come. How dare. But it's quite. I had. Thank the gods. I heard. Well, all things being equal, I would be a fan. Oi. Anyone who kills that many Valine trading bastards is a right hero of mine. Well done. Welcome to the treasure troves. Anything in my...
-hmm. Come along, Trinket. Andra's gills. There's no you carry yourself. Hmm? It's simple enough. The Legendary nightmares, more like. After how they did the crew with a virtuous reward. Even that bastard Benwith wanted nothing to do with them. But pirate legends don't live long. Some months ago, an alliance of Neketaka pirate hunters managed to corner the Firebrand and sink her off the coast of Tikawara. They confirmed Captain Henkwa's death, but her senior crew members escaped unscathed. And now it seems like bringing the Firebrand's crew to justice doesn't matter to anyone but me. So I want you to kill them. The Firebrand had a mascot. A useless little bastard. Last I heard, you'll be a pair. You'll be last I heard. I have tor tor cat le your tor cat le your tor cat re lady. You're looking for the Firebrand's former mascot, Lord Happy Hunt. My turn. Captain. Aye. What do you need? Hey. Of course. 